Hello my friends. Today we are going to try to make a lamp out of household items. So these are some of the things that we're going to be using. I got this sample of a lipstick and I'm going to be utilizing it for the tiny lamp. This is a capsule from a vending machine. It had a toy inside. The toy was nothing important but I'm going to use this dome as the lampshade. Um, nail polish or any paint that you may have around the house. Don't buy anything because you're going to really use very, very little. A Sharpie. You know, Sharpies now come in many different colors, uh, gold tone. Um, you can use whatever you want. I got this um, for two for a dollar. So these are a steal. But what I found is that these colors actually are gel and these are perfect to create a Tiffany lamp style effect. And these are the star of the show. These are earrings. They are light up earrings and they actually have a tiny little light in there. The light is not extremely strong but it's very nice for let's say a bedroom. I'm also been needing a cutting knife, a utility knife, anything that you can use because the dome is a little too big for the scale that I'm looking for, which is 112. I'll start by applying a thin coat of metallic silver nail polish. I chose this one because I want it to look as if the base was made of metal. Now while this little thing dries, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the, the lampshade. For my scale, this would be too big. So this is really the only, the only little part that I'm going to be using. With a tea light, I'm going to be heating up the tip of my cutting blade. Otherwise, it would be too difficult to cut through the plastic. And this little part is really all that I'm going to be using. With some paper, I am going to even out the area where I cut it so that it could be smooth. I try to draw the lines that are going to uh, be the lead lines and then apply the paint, but I realized that unless I sanded it a little bit and made it rough, the paint was not sticking. So I am going to also give a light sanding to the surface of the lampshade. With the black marker, I am going to draw the lines that are going to be the lead lines. I have to warn you, I'm not very artistic when it comes to painting, drawing, coloring, anything like that. But you get the idea where we're going with this and I'm sure that you can make yours uh, more beautiful. I'm just gonna give you the basics here. step is to start applying the gel paint. Again, I'm not very artistic, but I'm going to apply these uh, colors and then let them dry and then I'll come back and apply 
a second coat to make sure that it is dry before we proceed with the next step. Keep in mind that you don't have to use this kind of paint. Uh, you can also use nail polish. The reason I chose this one is because I had them around the house. They are transparent and I don't want to use a paint that would obstruct the light because like I said, it's not very bright. gel paint and time to dry and I'm really not happy with the way the lines of what is supposed to be the lead look like so I'm gonna go over it with the silver sharpie the silver color sharpie This is the back of an old earring with crazy glue. I am going to attach it to the top of the lampshade and then just let it sit and dry. This is a pair of LED light up earrings. They're battery operated. They are going to play the part of my light bulb. I do not believe that you can change the battery, but if you can, ch if you could change the battery, I don't think you can buy the batteries for any lower price than the earrings are. Depending on how long you're willing to wait, you can get them for as low as 79 cents online. Drop the earring in the base, and there you have it. That's the basic idea. Now, once you have this idea, you could really, really get creative. For instance, I have these beads that have a wide opening. And the diameter is a little bit wide and I could just drop it in there. And it could create a very interesting light. You could also use a thick um, drinking straw as the base. Anything where you could drop the earring inside could be your base. For lampshades, you could use something like this thimble. Uh, you could use some um, small container caps, all sorts of things. You get the idea. With this same design, you could create a hanging line but by punching a hole and putting the earring through and then just attaching a chain. So you have a lot of different choices here. Finally, let us see how this baby looks in the dark. Even though my bedroom is not finished, I'm just gonna set it there to show you what it looks like right next to the bed. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe because we have upcoming ideas and also feel free to share it with your friends 
or fellow enthusiasts. Thank you for watching. Until next time.